Welcome to the Fit 15 Podcast Show, where you'll find health and fitness inspiration, motivation, and information shared in 15-minute episodes. Tune in while getting a move on to make leading and enjoying the benefits of a healthy lifestyle almost too easy. It's the Fit 15. And now your host, Katherine Basu. Welcome to the Fit 15 Podcast Show. I'm your host, Catherine Basu, and my guest today is Stacy Robbins, the Bigfoot behind Bigfoot Custom Shoes. I had the privilege of meeting Stacy, who I would consider a new friend now, out in Palm Springs during Alt Summit earlier this year. And I'm really excited to have you meet her through the podcast. Stacy has been making painting and crafting things for as long as she remembers. In fact, she used to get in trouble for drawing on her jeans and shoes in school. Stacy always thought the things people wear should tell the world a little about who they are and what they love. And Bigfoot Customs is the latest evolution of that. I'm going to let Stacy tell you more about how her company has evolved because I love her story not only as a fellow entrepreneur, but as a customer now. And you'll get to hear more about that when you listen to our conversation. So let's dive into it. Here is my chat with Stacey. Welcome to the podcast, Stacey. I'm so excited to have you as my guest today. I'm so excited. It's so good to hear your voice after like a month away from each other. I know. I can't believe, and so much has happened, I feel, at least in my life. I don't know about, about in yours, but I feel like I've been in so many places. I'm like, how was that really just a month ago? I don't know, but it has yeah, been Yeah, it was like 30 days today that I left for Palm Springs. That's and crazy. And I didn't even know you yet. I know. Now, <laughs> well, my whole world has changed because, so your ears must be ringing because... I'm walking around, people that listen to the podcast regularly have heard me complain that I have my stress fracture here, Um, but you made my life so much better by actually painting my little flat, I don't even know what you call this shoe, but it's a shoe you get from the podiatrist (laughs) have a stress fracture. It's not very glamorous, it's black, mine's getting very beat up, but it has a very cute fit armadillo on it because of you. So do you want to tell them, Stacey, what what happened with our, my my shoe journey with you? Yeah. So... Should I start like with the, you organized a 5k at Alt Summit this in Palm true. Springs. This is true. And I was going to Palm Springs with some very fit people, my <laughs> two friends who run like 5k when they sneeze, like it's insane. Um, and then they said, but you had those cute medals. The cute medals is what got me. The armadillo fit medal, the fit armadillo medal was to bribe people what got by me. bling, right? <laughs> yeah. So we did the 5K, and that's when we met, and uh, your poor foot kept you from running and yeah. doing, you still, like, you still mark the course, though, which was incredible, um, but you, you had your poor little foot and your poor little sad black dress <laughs> fracture shoe, and it needed some color, um, so I put your logo on it for you, Yeah. <laughs> so at least you could be a little bit happier about walking around in that sad little podiatry shoe. Yeah, I'm a lot <laughs> happier. Well, and I also, because as a fitness professional, I do tend to wear like not always like super fun shoes in my daily life, like just practical sneakers, right? But when I'm off duty at a conference, I usually like to wear, you know, my stilettos and have it spice it up a little bit. So I was like really feeling sad about, you know, not only not being able to wear fun shoes, but having that flat foot, but you know, flat foot shoe that was boring, but you really that was that made that made me very happy so I appreciate that and I'm still appreciating it because I'm still rocking the shoe today so it's uh it's really stress fractures are probably the worst I used to get them when I played basketball from all the jumping and stuff yeah and they just like there's such a buzzkill so you know why not make a shoe that's happy that if you if you're stuck with it then have a happy shoe right (laughs) right so you don't only paint shoes and you don't only run 5Ks when you're uh, coming to, to Palm Springs. So I guess maybe we should start sharing your fitness journey first because you did the, the 5K, but and you used to play basketball. I just learned that. But do you want to yeah. tell us anything about your fitness journey of late or what's going on with that? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's, uh, it hasn't been 
the best. So even during that 5K, like I walked most of it because I've been struggling with um, like calf cramps, like really bad. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Want to sit down and not do anything, calf cramps. And, uh, but for, I used to be super active. Um, in college, I played basketball and soccer. We did like indoor soccer up here. I'm in Canada, by the way. So everything, <laughs> everything I'm doing, imagine a little bit colder than everywhere else in the world. Right. Um, <laughs> so we did indoor soccer as our soccer team and um, we played throughout the winter. And um, then after college, did a couple um, sprint triathlons. And that's kind of where, and I think I told you this, I hate swimming, I hate biking, and I hate running. <laughs> but right. for some reason, when you put them all together, I really, really like it. So I don't know, I don't know what that is, but <laughs> um, did a couple stri- sprint triathlons and then um, just kind of kept active, like played softball and slow pitch and, you know, grown up active stuff, ultimate frisbee. I've always played a lot of team sports. Um, and then two years ago, uh, my aunt and uncle were killed in a car accident. And oh. that started um, just a whole bunch of depression and grief. Oh, yeah. And, wow. Yeah. You know, like not being able to get out of bed and mm. like not even shower, let alone go for a jog. So, yeah. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. It's, uh, but, you know, it really was terrible and it is terrible and those things never go away. But moving forward has been my goal for the last two two years. So my word of the year for 2018 was forward. Um, and my word of the year for 2019 is joyful. And fitness is really connected to that, like being active, you know, moving my body, knowing my body is strong that really does tie into that joyful part of me. Yeah. So, yeah. So coming back to it, I, uh, yeah, I did the 5k in Palm Springs and, and I'm starting to get more active again. And I'm just. Hi friends, it's Catherine. And that sound is your halfway point reminder. If you are joining us and only have time for an out and back walk, that's a total of 15 minutes. You'll want to turn around now. All right, back to Stacy. Like, I'm so grateful for my body. Like, it just toughed it out for the last two years. Like, just yeah. autopilot. And yeah. Just, you know, got me through the day. And I didn't really treat it very well. And it still kept me moving. Which right. I'm just so grateful for it. And so now, trying to get back in touch with that fitness part of me. And, yeah. Uh, I signed up for a try it triathlon. So that's like the baby length one, which <laughs> is like my, and it's two months away, like today, I think. I don't even know. Oh, wow. Yesterday. Two months, <laughs> okay. Okay. So two, months, two months from yesterday is the race day. Oh, wow. And uh, um, I haven't really done a lot. <laughs> Now I'm going to be checking in on you more on Instagram now that you've revealed I know. this. I know. I'm going to have some accountability, which is good, which is exactly what I need. Because it is, even though I was active before and like moving does come pretty natural to me and it went away for two years. And so it does feel now like completely foreign to right. go to the gym and like reworking it into my calendar and like my schedule is yeah. not something I'm used to anymore right and yep. my life has changed completely that there's like nothing is the same as it used to be so right yeah so that's starting over yeah like a baby triathlon <laughs> yeah well I wonder too Stacey do you know I mean I think I really appreciate you sharing that story and I'm sure there's people out there that can relate you know being away from fitness for whatever reason, but what kind of, do you, was there a moment that got you motivated to take that first step to, you know, start being active again or how, like, how did that happen? 
Well, fun fact, I signed up for your 5K in Palm Springs and the triathlon within 20 minutes of each other. See? So it was more like, uh, like, well, I guess I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so that and Sparkly Finishers medal was a, was a part of it, I guess, yeah. Yeah, and now it's on my fridge. It's a magnet, too, which I totally appreciate. Um, and it's on my fridge, and now I see it every single day. And... So even like even though my calves were ready to explode that whole time and I lost <laughs> most of it, like all but a hundred meters of that course, it's uh like it is it is motivating for sure. And Nikki and Steph, my friends, who were the ones that, you know, they they run like crazy. Their business is running with dogs. I know um, we have to get them on. I have to, I have to oh bug goodness. them again. Because they're that I love yeah. their business, but that's the di- digression for us. But <laughs> Shout out to dog dogs. Yeah. Um, they, uh, so they've been hugely supportive and just even like the 5k and then um, with this whole thing, the triathlon and just even like through the two years of, of garbage, like it just, yeah, they've always listened and, and, you know, like gently encouraged and never, never should on me they didn't, weren't well you should be doing this and you should be doing that which right isn't helpful right they never did that it's uh yeah and then it just came around again <laughs> no I love that no it's it's great I'm, I'm blessed with some some really great friends myself so I'm glad that I'm glad that you have have some up there in Canada as well <laughs> Out here in the wilderness. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, that's awesome, Stacy. Very super cool. And are they going to be cheering you on on the sidelines of the triathlon? Do you know or? I don't know. They're they're three hours away from me, so I'm in Calgary oh, okay. and they're in Edmonton. But yep. if they're down here that weekend, they might be. Very. I know cool. I'm going up there a couple weekends before that, so we'll. Uh, We'll probably have to go for a run at that point together. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, training run. Yeah. Well, you still have time. I, I feel like you got some time. Today, you'll, you, you, you're you going to maybe do something if you haven't already, right? Even though it's later yeah, there yeah, on, sure. on the East Coast. <laughs> oh, my it's, goodness. Uh, yeah, it's – my other thing, too, is, like, the amount of distance for each of the things is something I have done before. So, like, sheer will – like it's kind of like right now it's like 50% sheer will and 50% ability to get me through this race. Yep. I mean, I do want to like tip it more towards like physical ability. <laughs> <laughs> sure. And not just like mentally dragging myself through this race. Um, so I will get there. Like, I think it's a distance I can do. And this sounds so conceited and everybody who does like periodic training is like, you're the worst. Um, but like, it is something I can physically do. Yeah. I do want to do better at it. (laughs) Yeah. That's where the, like, I will finish. It's just how well I would finish is what I'm fighting for. (laughs) Right. 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 Well, yeah, there's always, I mean, definitely want to encourage you to have a good, a good start to the race and good training, but you know, (laughs) the thing about races, right. There's always the next one. You can, you know, use that as a, as a barometer for the next one. So I do have a last place finish in a triathlon to defend. So I am, I am ready. I, <laughs> I also like only learned to swim in 2008. So, oh, wow. Yeah, That's impressive. So that, and the, the last place triathlon was in 2009. So okay. I mean, I joke about being last place in the triathlon, but it was a pretty big accomplishment. So yeah. <laughs> no, I, well, I, I had first place in my age group in a duathlon, but I was the only person that was in my age group. So <laughs> I was first and last. <laughs> first and last, you cleaned out. <laughs> right. And that's, that's the last time I've done anything besides just running. So, um, but it, you know, I mean, so I have a lot of respect for anyone that does a duathlon or a triathlon or anything besides running. Cause that's running's my jam, but everything else is very challenging, even when they're together, which I'm still, imp- I, I still haven't met anyone else, Stacey, besides you that likes them all together, but not, not on their own. So I think that's pretty, pretty unique. I, I love it. I don't know what it is. Like, I, like, I know, like, I say it and I know how weird it sounds, but I just, 
like I don't know if it's like in that like sheer will part of it like like these three things will not I will be better than these three things right I don't know what it is right that's funny <laughs> that's funny see well I'm excited to hear how it goes and how and I'll keep start you know checking in on you on Instagram now in the meantime okay. <laughs> Oh goodness. Well, one thing I wanted to have you on because you made you helped me with my podiatry shoe, but one thing that I'm going to probably have to have you do at some point with my next new shoes once I I know which ones I'm supposed to wear to make sure I'm not getting my stress fracture again, but is yeah. You know, cuz I have I saw so one of the reasons I got the stress fracture is I have bunions, so like I can only buy like, you know, the the shoe will come in like five colors, maybe not five, like really it comes in like eight colors or nine colors and and I can wear maybe like two colors are, are my options. But then the shoes I like will have like a special shoe for, you know, the Boston Marathon or for the London Marathon. And, and I'm just all, all here very sad because I can't have a fun, fun shoe, but you actually could do that for people who are listening is like one thing that you you might be able to offer. Yeah. Can you talk about kind of that and other things that you do in your business for people that would want to maybe have that as some fitness motivation? Maybe they're not motivated by a sparkly fit armadillo medal, but they might be motivated <laughs> by some fun shoes. <laughs> For sure. Um, so I only operate Bigfoot Custom Shoes, um, and I do just that. I customize shoes for people. So um happened completely by accident, just trying to be aunt of the year with my nephew. He is obsessed with Mater from Cars. Aww. And I How couldn't old find is he? anything. He is five now. Uh, but this was when he was, he was like two and a half. We went to oh, Disneyland. Sure and uh did a family trip and he there was nothing with mater on it i couldn't find anything oh, no. so being the aunt that i am like, yeah oh, i'll just paint him something <laughs> oh i love that and uh, yeah and so i put them on my personal facebook page and our, my friends were like we're gonna need some of those so yeah. like it, never intended to start a business doing this but it uh it's grown over the last three ish years and uh yeah i've done some pairs for some nfl players and wow. pairs for my nephew's birthday every year yeah so it kind of like runs the gamut from everybody yeah um, but basically if someone can dream it and they want that on a shoe i can i can do it and even an armadillo even an armadillo <laughs> <in Pinkland Blue. laughs> I was very impressed. An ombre armadillo. Yes, too. he's we very. Yes, he's he's been on Instagram. I need to share more. I'm. I need to like get my photo. I need to put some of the, you know, skills I learned at Alt or should have learned at Alt into practice and be better about my social media. <laughs> but he was on the stories, but now he needs to resurface as a post. I think. I don't think yeah. he's actually a post yet. <laughs> oh man! Well, you'll have to tag me in it. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. And he is over on. He is. I think, wait, is he on yours? I'm trying to think. I know the metal is on I, yours. I'm trying to remember now. Well, I don't know well, if I put the armadillo on it. Because I, I think I took pictures with my big camera. Yep. And I think I, like, just put those on my computer. So. They'll just have to stay. I mean, listeners will have to stay tuned. It's coming. <laughs> yeah. It's like a big reveal. <laughs> yes. But I was impressed because you, you didn't trace it. Like you just, I, I'm very impressed by your artistic skills. So you just went and did it freehand and it was good to go. And it, it you know, I, it made me very happy. So very <laughs> that's, that's the goal. Most things that people bring to me, I can usually hand draw or like work from a, a photo. Like I've done a couple of portraits of dogs and stuff. And Aww. those people just send me pictures of their animals. Um, and then sometimes, like my nephew will say, I want shoes with dinosaurs eating tacos. And then I just get to <laughs> imagine that and make it happen. That's um, funny. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so it, it kind of like, it goes from everything from like, well, just do what you want to this is a very specific thing that I want. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. But yeah. So even like logos and stuff, like I can do those and... Um, yeah, really like anything anybody can imagine, I can do it. Um, you, wel you welcome the challenge. Well, you also did when I was, yeah. um, was sitting there with my shoe, you were also working on someone's business card wallet, right? So that's, you know, for the business owners yeah. out there, that's an idea. It's, uh, I have business card wallets. I do, um, like those, um, they're kind of like coin pouch wallets, 
um, that you can get that like you can fit a fold in them. Coach makes them. They're like a little zipper oh, okay. pouch kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, like a it's like Quite a wristlet or I don't even yeah, know. I'm not a big purse that's person. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, briefcases. If it's made oh, yeah. of leather, canvas, um, nylon, kind of like a running material, running yep. material. Um, I always look at things and my first thought about it is, could I paint that? And sometimes I just, like, I'll pick them up from the thrift store and test it out and, and see what we can do. So, Super cool. Yeah. I, I like testing the limits of the paint I use. <laughs> yeah. Well, mine, I, yeah, I did tell, I don't think we said this on air on, on the official recording yet, but I uh, was admitting to Stacy that I took my shoe into the shower because I went to the gym and forgot my shower shoes and it got all wet. It got, you know, but it's still, and I've done that more than once. I did it yesterday before I saw my podiatrist. So I was very embarrassed because my shoe was still wet, but I've also done it more than once. And he's, he's still, he's still going when we were at the Boston marathon, it was rainy. Like he's still, uh, he's still on there. So the paint is good. It sticks, sticks pretty good. It, you've, you've done the wilderness testing for it. Yes. Testing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. The paint I use is um, like, compl- I, I don't want to say completely waterproof, but if I paint an entire shoe, canvas shoe on it, like you can fill the shoe with water. And like, if you just put a normal shoe full of water, like the water starts seeping out of the canvas. Oh yeah. Um, but if I paint it with that paint and do that, the water will not leave the shoe. It's, wow, wow. Like it's 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 pretty pretty tough. But with like not with running shoes and stuff, it still stays breathable. Like it doesn't seal the shoe. Right. Um on like on nylon and mesh and that sort of stuff. So Got it. Well, it's really cool. cool paint, yeah. And yeah. it's fun to paint with. Comes in every color. Yeah. <laughs> Super cool. Well, I've enjoyed hearing more about your fitness story. And I think I knew a little bit about the story with how you started doing the shoes, but I forgot about your nephew in the cars part. So that's really, that's really fun. Gotta love, got, you have to take aunt life really seriously is what I found. Make it seriously oh fun. <laughs> I, being an aunt is like my favorite thing in the world. And all of the littles in my life, I do like a family get together every month. Like I, Aww. I call it Spaghetti Friday, and so like all my friends come over, they bring their dogs and their kids, and my house is tiny. Like it's like a seven hundred square foot house. It's really small, Aww. but we all switch in, and they know that my basement is full of craft supplies, and, <laughs> and they just want to do crafts and color, and I totally let them and their parents like. <laughs> like like covered in paint kind of <laughs> and that's my favorite role in life <laughs> I mean I'm right it's there with the you where the kids are like oh, let's go get messy at Auntie Stacy's house <laughs> oh my well I'm I'm jealous because my nieces are across like the ocean over in Australia so I don't get to see them as much but I definitely bring crafts and we did like paint a yoga mat and like all kinds of chaos oh, that I get awesome. get them into so yeah, I, I approve. It's, uh, I approve this aunt message. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's a completely underrated role, and I think the more messy ants in the world, the better. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, Stacy, I'll put all this in the show notes. But what's the best way for people to connect with you and get their shoes or wallets or wristlets or whatever they can dream up painted? Let's go through Instagram. My website yeah. is kind of under construction. Yeah. I don't always trust it to get me the messages if people go through it. Sure. Um, so they can find me on Instagram, Bigfoot Custom Shoes, all one word. So the thing that lives out in the forest, custom shoes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's like a, my logo is like a Bigfoot in a sneaker. So um, you'll find it. <laughs> yeah. And hope, hopefully by the time I, re- I release this, I'll actually have the shoe and I'll tag you in an actual post versus a story. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And I'll maybe get those photos off my camera. So, <laughs> and you like, were saying they can email you and I cut you off by the way. <laughs> oh yeah. They can email me and, um, all of, uh, they can get a hold of me through Instagram. I think it's cool. got all the buttons for them to, uh, to reach me. And, um, if not Bigfoot custom shoes.com is my website. And uh, my information's all on there, too. 
Awesome. Well, it's been fun catching up, Stacey, and I'm I'm cheering you on from uh, the West Coast here for that triathlon. So, yay! <laughs> I should go do something today. <laughs> yeah, do it, do it, and, and keep, maybe you can do a sweaty selfie in your Instagram story to to share the proof. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> That's your challenge. <laughs> Oh goodness! It might look like I was in a pool because maybe I was. <laughs> hey, I mean, that's part of the triathlon training, right? <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Fit 15. For show notes and more, visit fitarmadello.com slash podcast. See you next time. Hi, friends. It's Catherine, and I hope you enjoyed today's episode of the show and learning more about Stacy and Bigfoot Custom Shoes. I hope you will consider treating yourself or a friend or family member maybe mom with Mother's Day coming up to a custom pair of shoes, something unique and fun to let them share their personality and put a smile on their face. I know Stacey's custom design has really helped me smile more in spite of my not so smiley situation of my stress fracture. Wanted to just let you know of one little housekeeping item here. Because of my trip to Europe, I'm going to take a little break from releasing new episodes I'll be back with some new ones on Monday, May 20th, though. So subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen to podcasts right now so you don't forget to tune back in when we go back live. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and weekend if you're tuning in the day this is scheduled to go live. And I can't wait to share more episodes with you. Bye.